All right, David Harry here. Now, are you an Eddie's 10 user who's been losing sleep at night thinking, what is faster at doing an NVENC encode from my Eddie's 10 timeline? A new RTX 3070 graphics card or an older GTX 1660 graphics card? Well, if that question has been keeping you awake at night, hopefully I can give you a good night's sleep tonight with this particular test. So what I'm going to do then is to use both of these cards to export the exact same file in the exact same setup using Edius 10 and time both of the NVENC encodes and let's see where we get with that. So a couple of things to bear in mind here. I'm using an i9-9900K. I'm using 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm using really fast storage and all the rest of it and a pretty decent motherboard, which is one of the Aorus by Gigabyte. So basically I've got a system which is well sufficient enough to do this particular test and to not introduce any kind of weirdness which could actually like get in the way of the results or anything. So I'll just crack on with the test now and I will be explaining stuff as I go through it. Okay, so for the first NVENC encode that I'm going to do, I will be using the GTX 1660. Now just some things here so that we know where we're up to. If I go to Device Manager, we can see here I have got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 installed. So that's just to show you that right now the system has got the 1660 in and not the 3070. Also as well, it's worth me pointing out that I am capturing with OBS here. Now within OBS, if I go to Settings, then if I go to Output and then Recording, we can see here I am using QuickSync as the encoder for the OBS screen capture. Now this is really important to point out because it's just to show that we are not taxing the GPU or NVIDIA's NVENC with the OBS recording. So OBS is basically completely separated from NVENC at this point. It is using QuickSync. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go to EDIUS. Let's see what's going on here. Now I have a clip in the timeline. Let me just show you the properties for this clip. It is 7680 by 4320, basically 8K UHD. It is also 60 frames per second. And also I think probably very importantly, it is the Grass Valley HQX codec that's being used for the actual video file. Now the reason why that's important also to point out is because this will also mean that we are not taxing the GPU in any way to decode anything to do with the codec within the timeline. So right now HQX will, is going to be getting decoded by the CPU and then obviously still keeps the GPU as in the Nvidia GPU completely free to do its thing. Okay, so that's for that. Now, if I go to project settings, as we can see within project settings, we've got, again, everything is all matched up to do with the file for the input, which is 768 by 4320, 8K UHD, 60 frames per second and stuff here. Also, we're working in 10 bit and what have you. Now, for this particular test, the bit depth and whatnot won't make any difference as long as it remains the same for both of the encodes. So as we'll see shortly when I do the 3070 encode, this will all match up exactly the same. So let me OK and get out of there. So right now we know exactly what the test scenario is. So it's now going to be time to do the encoding. So what I'm going to do here is go to print to file and then I will come down here and I will choose H.265 HEVC. I can't use the ones that are already in this list here, these presets, because these are these are things that I've already used and changed certain stuff about them. So I will go fresh here, as I will do with the 3070. Then I will select the NVIDIA version here. Okay, so I'll just double tap that. Now I need to put this in the right place. Am I in the right place? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Let me go to the right place. So... <laughs> Well done, I could have thought that one through before I started this test. Right, so I'm now in the right place. Now, first of all, I'm just going to call this, uh, let's see, GTX. Actually, let me do capitals. I find them easier to read. GTX 
1660. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave everything here like the bit rate and stuff all the same because as long as all this is identical for when I do the 3070 then it is completely like for like. So I won't touch anything else to do with the encode. Now don't forget, we've obviously got other parameters here that we could change and stuff. And if this were a proper encode, you know, for a proper output, then yes, I would be doing various things with this. But right now, I'm just going to use exactly the same parameters for both encodes. And as long as they are the same, as in I've selected them from the same source for the start of the preset, then we are like for like. So I'll leave it at that. Now what I'm going to do is pull up a stopwatch. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to hit, like start on the stopwatch and then jump to save as quick as I can. There will be a slight discrepancy here, but it won't be anything that'll distort figures. So play, save, right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up the, oh, not that, I'm going to pull up the stopwatch again. And then, let me just drop that down. Now what I'm going to do, is go to the, the, the encode here in the job monitor. Let me just get that a bit bigger. Let me get the clock up again. <laughs> right, this is all seem might seem a little bit mad and weird, but yeah, it's definitely a way for us to observe what's going on. Now at the moment, this is saying it's gonna take what, 12, 11 minutes and all the rest of it. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna speed this up now and I'll come in just at the end and let's get a timing for this encode. Okay, right, what it is, <laughs> I'd just been out to get a cup of coffee and um, I'd come back and I was sitting here waiting to come in for the last 10 seconds. I started moving the mouse, forgot what I was supposed to be doing, took a sip of my coffee, had a look back and messed it all up. <laughs> so what it is, it was somewhere in the region of 10.54 when the encode exited the list, so when it was completed. So what I'm going to do, I'll call it 10.54 for now, but I'm going to look back and I will make any changes at the end we definitely know what the time was we've seen it anyway happen on the screen so we'll change it at the end if it's any different but right now i'm going to call it 1054 and sorry about that but that is just me and my coffee habit basically taking over the results okay so now on to the encode for the rtx 3070 now what I've done, I have deleted all the original drivers and software that were on for the GTX 1660 and I've put the latest updated drivers and software for the 3070. Now if we have a look here inside Device Manager, we will see NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the exact same thing that I did before. I've got my stopwatch there ready to go, so what I'm going to do I will go to print to file. Once again, I will take the preset directly from this list here. So it is exactly the same as the last one. So there we go, click on NVIDIA again. And then this time I'm going to call this RTX 3070. Hold on, capital letters, because it's easiest for me to read. RTX 3070, okay. Now let me just get the stopwatch ready. So once again, I'll hit go on the stopwatch and then save on the file. So go save. Right, now what I'm gonna do, I will pull up the, the manager down here. Hold on, there we go. So there's our job monitor. Now I'll just open that up there and then I will get the stopwatch back up here. I know this is not dead like scientific or anything, but we are at least timing stuff, so this should all be good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna speed through as I did earlier on. This time I'll try not to miss the end by going for a coffee. It's saying about 12 minutes here, that's gonna change and come down, so I'm gonna run straight off for a coffee now, so I'm not late for the, the end of this one. So I'll speed through and then we'll see what the time is when this one gets to its end. Okay, so I'm going to dive in here for the last 10 seconds. I got my coffee very early on with this particular test, <laughs> so I'm not going to mess that one up again. Let's see, zero, when's it going to vanish? There we go, 11.25. Let me just make a note of that. So 
11 minutes and 25 seconds right what i'm going to do i'm just going to print up the two times here and i will do a something at the end to finish the video okay so there's the speed test done and a very quick refresher the 1660 did the encode in 10 minutes and 54 seconds and the rtx 3070 did it in 11 minutes and 25 seconds now obviously during that particular stage of the end of the ENCO test for the 1660 my coffee habit had got the better of me and I was a bit late getting back in and it was all a bit weird trying to stop the clock and all the rest of it however there's a probably going to be one to two seconds difference in there but it won't matter because there was a fair margin that the 1660 beat the 3070 by anyways now don't forget as well the way that I've set up this particular a test has been the exact way that you would test the NVENC encoder because don't forget if you do any other types of testing with either of these cards or any RTX cards that have got NVENC capabilities which could be used with EDIUS or anything else if the card itself and the main GPU is being stressed doing other stuff, it will change the results. It's just going to because of system overhead. Also, these things will also change from system to system because once again, any impediment to the encoder itself will result in different outcomes and such. But nonetheless, what we've seen here is that basically both of these cards took the same time roughly to do the same encode. So bearing that in mind, do you really need to go to a new RTX card for your EDIUS 10 system specifically for doing NVENC encoding? Well, the clear answer to that is no. If it's just going to be for NVENC encoding, I would strongly suggest getting the 1660 for EDIUS. And the reason for that is because both of these cards, whilst they are on different architectures for the GPU, one being Turing and one being Ampere, both of them use Turing for the NVENC encoding, which is why we're going to see these results the way that they are so from that point of view if it is only nvenc that you're interested in within edius 10 then sure just get the 1660 there's also another bit of an argument here as well because you might be thinking to yourself well surely the rtx 3070 is going to be way better than the 1660 for doing other tasks within edius the answer to that is also no, and I will be doing videos about that. I've already done some quick testing, and the problem is anything within EDIUS that is capable of doing some kind of minor GPU utilization doesn't scale, and I can show that in other videos that I'm going to be doing. So until EDIUS gets to the point where it does proper GPU processing and it does indeed scale with the technologies of each of the GPUs that it's going to be using, then until that point, I think you're going to find that unless you're using other software which will benefit from a much more powerful card it's just not worth doing it for edius anyways hopefully then this video has kind of answered a few questions for people and all the rest of it so yeah just go out and buy yourself one of them if it's nvenc encoding for edius 10 anyways i'm going to dive off now because i've got more videos to do about edius 10 some really cool stuff and then some not so cool stuff it really is a very mixed bag with edius 10 anyways if you're into the these things that I'm doing with Edius, you can catch all my stuff at www.edius.co.uk. Initially, that'll go to a playlist on my YouTube channel. Eventually, that will then end up as being like a small dedicated website for all my Edius videos. Also, as well, if you've liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you've really, really liked the video, then subscribe to my channel. And if this video is going to allow you to get a really good restful night's sleep tonight because you have now had the answer to a burning question, nailed then get all over that weird little notification button down in the bottom corner which will tell you when all my other videos are coming up <laughs> anyway i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs>